Hello guys, it's Sean Sword here doing a Babel unboxing, this time on the golden version of Hellsnaith 460 taper. So this is yeah, another B4 Bay, again, rare bay, get battle bay, um similar to the like Cobalt Drake or um the Gold Leon Claw. So yeah, pretty interesting bay. Um while I open this, I do want to say how I get these bays. Um because I know I've gotten quite a few rare bays recently. You know, in case you've missed those videos or didn't watch my reseller video, my, my discussion. Um, I'll talk about that while I open this, but yeah. How do I get these bays? Why do I get these rare bays so often? Basically, I, I just buy directly from Japan. I don't mess with the US resellers because they are abysmal to deal with. Um, yeah, so, first up here, here's the instructions, but anyway. Um... Yeah, never buy from U.S. resellers. They are not worth your time. I see a lot of U.S. resellers selling this thing for over $100, um, you know, which is way, way too much for what this thing should be worth. Um, in case you don't believe me, uh, I got this thing for 30 bucks from Mercari Japan. New in box, sealed. Um, nothing wrong with it, so never use... I mean, yeah, like... Again, hundred whatever dollars versus like thirty. Again, yeah. <laughs> Don't support U.S. resellers, especially when it comes to rare bays. Trust me, they are not uh, worth the time. And this this plastic does not want to be cut. Apparently, there we go. So anyway, yeah, that's my whole uh, thing about U.S. resellers. Yeah, they are not worth the time, and me avoiding them is why I get these things for so much, like, for so cheap, and why I get them so often, because they're, again, they're just way less than you'd expect them to be there, so again, I do have a whole reseller video called Resellers Suck, be able to discussion if you want to know more about that, but yeah. Anyway, uh, for now, I'll just go over this base, I just want to give the context to why I get these rare bays so often. Um, so, we'll start with the, the, um, the bit here. Um, this is a nice golden uh, taper. So, yeah, looks pretty nice. Got this kind of translucent yellow. Um, yeah, pretty decent looking. Um, moving on to 460. Again, translucent yellow. Listen, I mean, this is darker than the, the translucent part on the bit, but still. Translucent yellow, again darker, almost like yellow-orange, and then the gold for the outside. Just a nice looking uh, 460. And then we got the coolest part here, for sure, which is the Hellsythe blade in gold. And yeah, you got the kind of black and gray and gold on the gear tip sticker. Also, the gear tip is a translucent red. That actually looks really cool. Uh, I actually like the kind of red here, kind of just strikes some color into the gold, which is very cool. But yeah, the gold um, paint looks really nice. And you flip that over, got kind of an opaque gold, plastic, so see the red as well in the gear chip. But yeah, very, very cool looking blade, for sure. I actually think the red here adds a lot of detail, which is nice. Um, so yeah. All right, now let me, I actually want to compare the weights just because, uh, interestingly, these bays don't really change much in weight with like the metal coats and stuff. And there we go. Geez, that thing did not want to turn on. Okay. So I'll go here the other parts too, just for fun, I guess. But yeah. So taper is, the regular one's 2.23. This one should be about the same. Yeah, 2.22. I mean, that one was other also fluctuating between two and three. So basically the same weight. Um, 460, 6.26 for the normal one. This one is 6.24. Did, did I say 4.26? Did I just like read backwards? 6.25 if I mess that up. And then yeah, 6.25. Okay, 2.4. Roughly the same. Maybe like 0 0.01 less for both parts. Now the blades are the most interesting part. So the regular oh, scythe here weighs 32.73. And the painted one... 32.86. So this one's actually a little bit heavier, but again, blades do vary in weight. You know, metal varies. So, but yeah, the, the metal coats, they don't add as much, which you kind of expect them to based on like Phoenix Wing and Cobalt Drake, but 
Nope, uh, they really uh, do not. So I guess overall weight, just again to compare, uh, the regular Hell Scythe is 41.23. And let me grab the gold one here. So 41.23 versus 41.33. So again, very, very close in weight. Uh, going to put this thing together now. There's not much else for me to say about it, honestly, but um, just see how this thing looks all put together. There we go. That's, hold on, it's entirely out of focus. There we go. And there it is. Hellsythe 460 Taper gold version. That is... There, okay, that was not pushed in properly. Let's, let's do another view of that. There we go. Yeah, very, very cool. Again, this, this red gear chip is really helping this thing out, because I'm not the biggest fan of gold, honestly, but yeah. The red definitely adds a decent bit of detail. Let me grab my other Hellsythe here. Let me put it back together so I can compare. Um, okay. Actually, leaning towards the gold one here, again, that red is doing a lot, so... Yeah. I mean, very, very interesting. Yeah, which one, which one do you like more? Again, I'm leaning towards the gold one here, just because I, I don't know, that red gear chip really seems to be adding quite a bit for me. So... Yeah, anyway, um, I think that's basically everything for this. Let's see, I talked about why resellers aren't good and why you should avoid the US ones. Um, and then talked about this thing and did the weights. Yeah, I think that's about it for this video, honestly. Um, again, with these, with these rare bays, I, I just talk about them a little bit. I don't really go in depth. I've already talked about Hellsight before. It's, it's the same bay, just a different color, so yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's probably going to about do for this video, so thanks for watching, and... Bye-bye.